you are welcome to my channel today we'll be discussing on how to use referencing manager majority of students when they are doing their research they always have referencing problem some of the references they have cited is not included in their bibliography and some of the references that is in their bibliography is not cited in the body of your text so we're looking at how you can use a referencing manager to manage your referencing when you are writing your reports now in order to do this we'll be talking about Mendeley Mendeley is what we will be focusing on today Mendeley is a free software that you can use to reference your research work so I'll be taking you through how to use a Mendeley to reference your work first of all you have to go to uh, Google when you go to Google then you type in your Mendeley or you go to Mendeley.com just to make it easier you go to uh, Google you type in Mendeley then you click on Mendeley reference management software so it will bring you to this place so when the site open like this then you click on create account for those that have not gotten an account before so if you have a account before on Mendeley so all you need to do is just to log in but for those that don't have their account on Mendeley before so you just click on create an account then you use your email maybe you have a email that uh, you have that is existing before or you create a new email whichever way you can just create out uh, you use your email to create an account so now it will ask for some other details your given name your family name so you can just type in those uh, names then you create a password all right now I have a strong password then you can see that it's the icon to register as a uh, come alive so now when I register I have something like this you have an account so you can now proceed with the with that account all right this is how the Mendeley desktop look like on the uh, on the website then you will see a link here I say download Mendeley reference manager so you will need to download this click on it so when you download then the uh, download now for Windows and you click this now you can see here that it's downloading so after we have downloaded this uh, setup for Mendeley you will see that the top of the screen here we can open it now before I go if you are using a uh, a Mac OS or you are using Linux OS you can also have your own version of the setup just here so when you when you look through uh, the site you will see it here so you open the setup to run it now you double click on it and install the setup So when you finish installing the setup, you click on finish. And it will load the interface of the referencing manager. All right, this is the interface. So it will ask you to log in with the email which you use to register. Remember that we have uh, a, uh, uh, a online version of that Mendeley. So this is the version that will be resident on our desktop which is the offline or the desktop application of the Mendeley uh, uh, application so I will log in with the email I used to log in the other time all right this is the email then it will ask for my password all right so this is the desktop application this is the desktop uh, version of that uh, Mendeley uh, application that is available on the web this is the one that this is the 
application that will be resident on your desktop. Now, you need to integrate this Mendeley in your MS Word so that you'll be able to synchronize uh, whatever document you want to reference easily. So in order to do that, you come to Tool, you select Install Mendeley Sites to Microsoft Word. So this will launch Microsoft Apps, App Store where you can get the Mendeley plugin so that you can install it in the world. So you click get it now. So now it's asking me to log in my account to Microsoft uh, Office. So for those that have Microsoft uh, email, it will be easier for you to log in. If you don't have Microsoft email, all you need to do is just to create one here. You just create uh, a new Microsoft account. You can use your email to create a Microsoft account. I already have a Microsoft account, so I will just log in the Microsoft account. Alright, so since I've logged in the Microsoft account, I will click Open Word. So, I will launch it. Okay, this is the Microsoft Word. Now it's downloading the the plugin, so you wait for a while for it to, to be downloaded. Now I think uh, the downloading is done. All right. Now can you see it now? So it's giving you an information here. You click uh, trust this add-in so that it will give it access. Now immediately this is done, you will see something like this. Now you have to take note. If you are using uh, Microsoft Word that is below. 2010 you are going to have difficulty in installing this plugin so it's work from uh 2016 and above 2016 and above so that is what uh this application works on so immediately uh, i mean the plugin the plugin is integrated to uh, ms word 2016 and above now immediately this plugin is installed you will see uh the icon in this place you can see my mouse here so you click on the icon then it will open an interface by the side of the word document okay after this interface has finished loading you will see something like this then you click on get started so when you click on get started it will prompt you to log in your Mendeley details so we are going to log in the Mendeley that we just uh, registered the other time. All right, you can see immediately I log in that Mendeley, so it will load my Mendeley interface. So this is this is it, and it's giving you instruction on how to load information. Now, can you see this is the Mendeley interface that is integrated into the Word document, and this is the desktop application. Of that Mendeley so if I click on this desktop application it will launch it so this is the desktop application and this is the word interface now I'm going to add a document here so that you will see how the thing how the referencing is being done now the first thing is I will create a new word document as an example now I will have downloaded some some journal article which I would have saved on my desktop so assuming this is my journal article that I have downloaded let me open it so that you can see it so this is my journal article from International Technical Science Journal this is one and this is the second one so this is the second one now in order to do it you launch your desktop application from from Mendeley desktop you launch it when you launch it you have something like this then so you can create a folder for each of the journal that you are writing so if I want to create a folder for this uh, particular uh, let's say project that I'm doing so I'll just come to collections I can name it 
I will name this one testing. So all my referencing, all my uh, at all the articles that will be important, I want it to be under referencing. So that is why that is what I have done. So in order to add a collection to this place, then I will go to hard new. Then I will be adding from this computer. So I will go to my desktop, click the uh, journal, and this is the journal article that I want to be adding. So because I've saved it on the desktop, that is why I, I went to desktop and locate the folder where the journal articles are. Then I will click on add. So now by this corner, you will see the first one has added and the second one has added. So you can see it here, all references or uh, then slash the folder which I have created which, which is the testing folder you can use it uh, you can make it a name of uh, of your of your report or the project that you are doing then you had the references there so these are my references so now once you had these references you can click on each of them to make sure that the information on them they are correct so now you can double click to open it Mendeley also have a PDF capability that will make it easier for you to open them so once you double click on that uh, document it will open it it has a PDF reader to read that document and open it so once you open it you can confirm if the information there are correct this is the title the title here is here and this is a journal article is not a report so you can change this from this report annotation then you scroll down to pick the category that best suits this information so because it's a journal article you pick journal article you will see the title of the journal automatically if this uh, uh, PDF document is formatted properly immediately you import it into Mendeley it will it will automatically extract all the metadata of that particular journal so you can see here journal international technical sciences journal the year then the page number will be automatically imported also but if it is not imported you can also uh include it that's page 21 to 16 pages that's to 36 so it will automatically import those information then it is volume one number one you can see that's volume one number one which is issue one so once all this metadata is correct you can check the second one also to confirm that you are having a correct information okay we can see here that the metadata imported for this one is correct is under a proper category which is the journal article the title of the paper and the author of the paper where the paper the journal where the paper is being published and so other uh, information are properly imported so you have to confirm all these metadata to make sure that they are properly imported before you continue your referencing so once you have made sure that all these informations are correct so now you will go to our word document so when we go to word then maybe you are writing uh, your thesis like I showed you earlier so all you need to do is just come to the references tab on the Microsoft Word when you click on the references tab here you come to Mendeley site you click it then it will load the interface by the side you wait for it to load okay it has loaded now if you recall we created a name for our project which, which is testing so by default is referencing it but perhaps it was not referenced when you click that uh, Mendeley site you just come to the uh, the you, you come to your project you click on it testing so all the materials that you have uploaded into the uh, Mendeley desktop will be shown here so the material that you want to reference you just 
you you see it by the side you come to it you pick it so when you pick it then you click insert so the moment you click insert automatically it will be inserted into the body so if the citation is coming at the beginning of a sentence so you can insert insert the citation then you can edit it manually then you delete whatever it is you want to delete then you continue your discussion uh, this at uh, all 2015 said that so you can continue your discussion there uh -huh. just like that and you continue your discussion if you want to cite more than two papers also it is possible so all you need to do is just to pick the number of papers you want to cite then you insert the citation just like that so once you have done that so it will be done properly and at the end of your report you want to generate your references so you just come down then you come to uh, this three dots here you click on it and you click insert citation so it will, it will show you all the all the uh, references that you have cited in the body of your work here then you click continue so once you click continue automatically it will cite it and you can change the format of your citation by coming to citation setting then you can pick the format that you have presently the style that we are using is upper format 7 7th edition so you can change it here to high he he immediately you select that uh referencing style you want you click update citation style immediately it will reflect in your referencing uh style here so that is how to use mendeley to cite uh in the in, in your uh reports Thank you for your time.